Alright, hi everybody, uh, it's Nick here. Since I made my plant tour video, I've actually gotten quite a few plants. I'm kind of a plant freak, if you can't tell. <laughs> so I just wanted to share them before there was way too many. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll get right into it. Um, let's start off right here. I have a string of pearls. I got this one at a local garden center recently. Uh, my boyfriend actually got it to me for me for my birthday. Uh, along with a few other plants. I might mention them if I remember. But I had a string of bananas in, that I showed in my plant tour video that actually got spider mites and just got annihilated. That's actually something that happens with pests, obviously. I have a problem with spider mites. Well, the spider mite problem is done, but thrips. Thrips have been eating away at my plants, and for some reason, my succulents have been one of the ones that they are into, and that string of bananas was hanging up in my window, and it just slipped my mind so I thought when I saw this I thought I'd give it a try I actually did find a few thrips on this and I immediately sprayed it because I'm like I'm not dealing with that again but yeah so I'm really happy with this I actually never saw them in person so as soon as I saw it I was like I need that um, not exactly a new purchase but I potted up my purple hearts because they got a lot of roots I actually noticed roots on them like right after I filmed my other video and mentioned how long it was taking to get roots uh, but they're even making little babies. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but there's one, like, right there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But yeah, just happy about that. Um, another one that my boyfriend got me for my birthday is this asparagus fern. I mean, they're technically not ferns, which is why I thought I would give it a try. If you watched my last video, you heard me say that I've killed every fern that I've owned. So as soon as I heard that asparagus ferns weren't actually ferns, I was like, I'm getting one. And this one looks great. And actually, another gift was this Peperomia Orba uh, Limey Pixie is what it was marketed at. I couldn't really find that online, but that's what it said. Uh, it looks really plain. I don't know if the lighting's going to be good enough to see, but they have, like, these little green veins you can sort of see in, like, this leaf right here. So it's, like, ghost white leaves and then, like, deep green veins. I really like that about it. And it's fuzzy, too. <laughs> Okay, and right here I have a philodendron imperial red, I believe. It has a new leaf coming in. It's actually been taking its time. It might not <laughs> it might not come out. It's kind of late in the season. But yeah, I like it. The one leaf was really red when I got it, and now it's turning green like they do. So, yes. <laughs> All right, and the final gift from my boyfriend was, they were only like $3 each, I promise. Uh, was this Calathea? Medallion Calathea? I don't know its actual species name. I think it's like Rosio Picta. I could be wrong. If Correct me if you know. But it's got these beautiful like painted leaves on the leaves. It looks like the leaves have leaves painted on them is what I'm trying to say. And then the back is this beautiful purple shade. Alrighty. So I have right here a Moonshine Sansevieria. I've been looking for one of these for a while and they had them at Ikea for like two or three bucks last time I was there, so I had to scoop one up. <laughs> okay, and over here, in my other video, I had an orchid Oncidium, I think, I'm not positive, that I took from work and it was like a piece of crap and died immediately. It was just like the pup that was still alive but I recently got this other one from work that wasn't flowering. I think this is another Orchid Oncidium, but this one's really full, so I'm really happy about this one. looks a lot better than the other one, and we'll see how it goes. None of the orchids I've taken from work have ever flowered, but they sure are growing, so I'm not too concerned. Um, the next two are actually... I filmed a video on it separately because I got them ordered in the mail from eBay, and I wanted to show how they came like packaged and stuff. So you can watch that video if you would like, or you can just look at them here. This one's a Tenanthi uh, Burley Marxii, I think it's pronounced. But these leaves are just so beautiful. People say that they look like when you get like a latte and they like pour the milk up. I don't know what that technique is technically called, but yeah. That's what they say the leaves look like, and I just think it's so beautiful. And it's actually got, since I bought it just a few weeks ago, it's got these two new shoots coming out you can kind of see. So I think those are new plants coming out. So that's really exciting, especially because it's gonna 
fill out this side of the pot that's a little bit more empty, but it, it looks so good. I have links to the eBay sellers that I bought from in my other video, and the other plant that I bought is this Stromanthe Trio Star. It's actually <laughs> pooping out on me hard. Like, it's two plants, and this one is just like, uh. And then the other one on that plant is curling, and the new growth is just like not looking good. But on the bright side, the smaller plant looks totally fine. It only has one leaf and another leaf coming in and they're undamaged so they didn't come damaged or anything I don't know I ordered a bare root because it was the cheapest way I could find it and I don't know uh, I've had a uh, Maranta that just straight out pooped out on me when I got it and completely died back and within a few months of an empty pot it shot off a new plant and now it's beautiful actually I'll show you guys since I'm mentioning it it was in my plant tour video but it just looks really good. It was literally an empty pot of soil, and now it's two plants. So, you know, I'm not gonna just give up on a member of the prayer plant family like that. Oh, I got so many on the table right now. Okay, another one that I got was this right here. It's a Pilea peperomioides. Um, this was actually a birthday gift from my dad. Very nice of him. I had it in my eBay cart, and it's the cheapest I ever found. Unfortunately, the seller doesn't have any left, so I would link them, but it wouldn't do any good. Uh, but they were like twenty six bucks, and shipping was like so thirty. It was with eight dollars shipping, so it was thirty four dollars total. And it has two adult plants in the pot, and it actually has a baby coming in. I don't know how long I'm able to film this, but yeah, you can see it right here. The little green bit. There's a baby coming in. So in the spring, I'm definitely going to separate these two and have two pilea, and hopefully by then the baby will be bigger, so maybe I'll have three. All right, another one. That's new. Sorry for all my like standing and grabbing. You know damn well I'm not gonna edit this, so. Uh, this is a fiddle leaf fig, or ficus lyrata. Uh, this leaf is brand new. It was not on the plant when I got it, so I'm happy to see that it's growing because I was at a nursery and I saw these for $10 and the lady rung it up a seven. I didn't say anything, but thank you. Uh, sorry if that kind of fucked up your, ooh, sorry for cursing, but if that kind of messed up your uh, till, but <laughs> thank you for the cheap plant. I wanted to get one of these small because when I move into my next apartment in a few months with my friend, I want to get a big plant, but they're expensive. So I wanted to try my luck with a small one and it's going really well so far so happy about that and I have high hopes that one day maybe this one will be a large tree as some people have said I've heard people getting the small ones and them growing to be sizable trees so um, this is a ficus elastica a variegated one it's not growing too well for me a couple leaves have died, and I only got it a few weeks ago. I didn't pot it up, it's just sitting in its pot. I'm not even gonna bother taking it out, but Aunt Lori just had another leaf fall off, so. I don't know, can't really recommend it, but it's so beautiful, so how could you not pick this up? I think it needs more light than I give it. I don't have good luck with anything that has white on the leaves. But who knows? My plain rubber trees are doing fine. Oh, and I think I only have one left. It is this Chinese evergreen or Aglaonema. So far, I've seen like all summer and fall that all the Home Depots I've been to have been doing um, like sales on their six inch pots. And I don't normally shop at Home Depot for, for, for plants. I get my terracotta pots from there, but Sometimes they have really good ones, and I found this full-ass aglaonema, so I had to scoop it up. Um, I don't know exactly what variety it is. One of my Instagram followers told me that it was a Silver Bay. Or no, I'm sorry, not Silver Bay. Silver Queen. Silver Bay is my other one that I have. Um, but these leaves are really thin and, like, grassy, but all of them in the store looked like that. I know I got it from Home Depot, so maybe it wasn't in the best condition, but they looked really good, and I had to pick one up for six bucks, so 
Yeah, it looks really great. But yeah, thanks for watching this update. Um, kind of informal. I'm not really a formal person, so don't expect anything formal from me. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably update <laughs> again when I get like at least 10 more plants, which will probably be in like a month because I'm crazy. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.